This video focuses on the Instance Request menu. The Request menu provides an opportunity for users to perform five key actions on a specific instance. They are Display the system log of the Instance Server STC. This is the standard output of the server process in Unix. Trigger a manual generation of the current plan or definitions file or files and send them to AI. This is particularly important if we decided not to automate this process in the configuration screen. We're able to generate the ERTA online reports. And finally, we can shut down the instance, which triggers the secondary STC, updates the SRVR SREC datasets with a CLSD code for closed, meaning the primary STC is no longer able to process new instructions. We select the instance slot and enter option M. We have five options. Option 1 displays the server STC log. Option 2 triggers a manual delivery of the current plan data. Option 3 triggers a manual delivery of the definition data. Option 4 triggers the generation of the ERTA online reports. And Option 5 shuts down the instance, which we've already discussed at length. This is the standard output of the server STC. It's called AIST log, and it's found in the user's temp directory. Options 2 and 3 are simple confirmations for data requests. 2 is the current plan and 3 is the definition data. The EQQI CIN IWS program generates the event data. Executions of this program can take several minutes, an important factor in the accuracy of the resulting AI data. Depending on the type of work and volume of work being processed, event acquisition runtime can expand over time, leading to a domino effect. Significant inconsistencies between IWS job status and AI job streams. By the time the job finishes and the data is delivered to AI, some of the statuses may have changed. The ERTA or Event Runtime Analysis reports can help you troubleshoot and ultimately remediate this problem. With ERTA Online, you can analyze data outputs for each cycle over a 24-hour period. ERTA is a CSV report generated on a daily basis and delivered to the connector host. We configured it at the update stage. It's obviously very easy to output CSV to a graph in a web report, and you'll see the evolution of your data and the impact on the system over time and single out individual cycles where the problem is more severe.